everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing another little wish haul. I have two purses, both Louis Vuitton dupes. I got one today, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. This one I paid $9 for. Only $9. And so let's just go ahead and open this one up. Grab my scissors and go ahead and cut it. I did open it a little bit because I wanted to know if it was my wish item or not because I am ordering stuff off of other like sites like Wish to do videos on so I had to make sure it was the one from Wish. All right so just in bubble wrap seems pretty sturdy um the packaging I mean sometimes I get my purses from Wish like my first Chanel one and that packaging was just a disaster so I'm surprised that this one is sturdy. I ordered this in pink and it looks more like a ready than a pink. So we'll see. Yeah, it definitely looks more red than pink. Ooh, so right out of the bag, this is what it looks like. It's super soft and just it feels very sturdy it's just like a twist and open oh that and it has a little piece of cardboard to keep it open strap is in here all right so this purse is a dupe for the louis vuitton lock me purses and the reason i'm calling this one a very specific dupe is if you look at the logo this is not supposed to be the very, um, this is not supposed to be this long. And then there's nowhere on here that says Louis Vuitton, like some of the other ones I've ordered off of Wish. So this one's more of a dupe than anything. And I mean, for eight bucks, it's really cute. The inside is very cheap material. Let me try to get this. You can see that it's already separating right here. And actually, if you catch your finger on it the wrong way, it kind of hurts because I already did that. But... The inside is kind of bland. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but all the way down there, you can see the stitching from the outside in here. So, I mean, it's not bad. I only spent uh, $9 on this, so not that bad of a price. It's really, really cute. I love it. So the issue I'm having is when you go to close it, you have to kind of push to twist, but then you're pushing the back, which has the little twisty part on it. But I had this issue with another purse of mine where you had to push it in to lock. But every time you push, you kept pushing the lock backwards. So it wouldn't really close all the way. So the quality on the outside is not too bad. The seams are very, very rough. Kind of um, jagged a little bit, if you would. The stitching seems pretty good quality. There's like some gapping in here, kind of, but... The stitching on it's pretty nice. There's no, oh, never mind. I lied. I was going to say there's no hang strings, but there are. The overall quality is probably, I'd say like a 6 out of 10. Just because the seams on it aren't the best, but the quality of it, it's a very hard material in a good way. It's very sturdy. That's the word I'm looking for, sturdy. But it's super cute. I'm definitely excited to wear this. I think at first glance, you wouldn't be able to tell that this is a uh, dupe of a Louis Vuitton. It also came with the strap, which I don't know if I'm going to use. I highly recommend this. It's super cute. It's not going to set you back a whole lot of money. So even if you get it and you're not like, eh, I don't really like it. It's, it's $9. It's not going to set you back too much. I will link it below if it's still available by the time that this uh, video goes up because... That's a common thing I'm having where I get these items, I go to link them, and they're no longer there. But like I always do, I will link similar items, whether it's from Wish or the new one I'm using is the DH Gate, which that video is going to be something that's coming soon as well. So if the purses are still available by the time this video goes up, I will link them below. All right, you're going to see me in a new outfit and makeup with the next purse. All right, so the other purse just got here today, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and we're gonna open it up. So this is the one that I'm most excited for. I spent the most on this one. I'm pretty sure I spent $46 on this and I am so excited to open it. 
I almost didn't wait to start recording to open it because I really, really want to see what it looks like. in dust bags just like the others. This dust bag is actually a lot better than the other ones. It's a different kind of material. It's a little bit thicker. Oh, oh, oh guys. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is what the dust bag looks like. It's very much better than the other ones. I don't know how to describe it other than it's just better quality. But this is it. I'm gonna insert it in. I'm gonna insert a screenshot of what the original one looks like compared to this. But go ahead and open it up. Oop. Oh no way. It came with a lock. It just fell out on my purse or on my lap. All right, so I did get a strap with it. Go ahead and take that out. The quality on this is really, really nice. It's super soft. It even says Louis Vuitton on the handle or on the clip. There are some fray strings, as you can see, but. Otherwise, it's a pretty decent strap, very soft. And so the lock is a little bit beat up, but I didn't even know it was coming with one. So that's nice. I do have an original Louis Vuitton lock that I will actually grab. So that way I can compare it to this one. And that is this one right here. It's obviously a little bit beat up because I did buy it used with my purse. But I'm going to hold these up side by side. So as you can tell, if it'll focus on them, there is a difference in size just by a little bit. The real one's a little bit bigger than the uh, fake one. And then I'll show you the back. And like even the description. You can see that there's a lot more space with this, the real one, than there is the fake one. And also, with the fake one, it obviously does feel like plastic. It's very uh, cheap feeling. This one's very heavy and real metal. So, there is that. Also, the key for the lock is in this, which is super nice. But, it just kind of, if I can get it. It pops out, oops, and that's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock it. Oh, clicked. Oh, okay, yeah, it's very plasticky feeling, but it's super cute. I think I might take this one and put it on a necklace because I wanted to do with that with the other one, but it was so heavy, so that might be a good use for this. All right, so back to the purse. So oops, let me open it up all the way. But this is what the inside looks like. You can see it says Louis Vuitton right there. Super, super soft inside. It is, the stitching inside is a little bit weird. And it also has this, which I, I'm pretty sure real Louis Vuittons don't come with. This bag is a replica for the, I think, Valley Set Monogram bag. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I've looked at images of this bag because when I ordered it, I just, I love the design of this bag. So I was looking up the original one. The original one, I think, goes for $3,500, and I bought this for $48, but this is what it looks like on the outside. You can see that the LV is cut off, and like I said in my previous video, I think it's that is a big tell for fakes, because what I read was real Louis Vuittons won't cut off the LV, they'll only cut off this in their patterns, so that's a huge giveaway for fakes. The material on the outside is so, so soft. I've touched real Louis Vuittons, and I have a real Louis Vuitton, 
and this material is very very similar i love this i love everything about it i was so excited to get it and i still am i already know that this is gonna be something that i definitely wear out a lot i definitely think the quality of this is fantastic and definitely the best one i've gotten yet also looking on the quality of the stitching on the outside i'm trying to keep an eye out for any fraying strings and I'm not really seeing a whole lot. There's nothing that's really prominent. The most that's happening is right at the end stitch. There's a little bit of hanging from the string. But other than that small little thing, there's not a whole lot going on. Whereas in the inside, there definitely was more... I don't want to say carelessness because honestly the craftsmanship on this is fantastic but there's definitely a lot less effort I think put in in the best way possible I'm trying not trying to insult anybody but there's definitely a lot more loose strings and stuff and like in the bottom of here you can see that the cut on that is all even but the material I cannot stress how nice this material is the inside is so soft it feels just fantastic the leather is amazing this right here is going to be the best i really hope this is still available when i post this video because i really want you guys to be able to get this i i really like this i'm so happy that i spent as much money on it as i did so obviously I do think this one is the better of the two because it does have the actual Louis Vuitton logo on it. The material is great. Just the detailing in it is fantastic. I still really, really like this cute little pink purse and I'm definitely going to carry it. But this I think is going to be what I'm carrying the most right now. I've currently been carrying the Chanel that I had, the little black Chanel that I had. And I think we're going to switch it out for this one because this just looks absolutely fantastic. I can't get over how just amazing. All right, so that is all I have for today's video. I just wanna let you guys know I don't have any more Wish items to review in the future, but I do have some from DHgate that are on the way. So hopefully I will get that video out within the next month. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.